on radios. To this one, I'm listening. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. It is nearly five months since we were attacked at Pearl Harbor. For the two years prior to that attack, this country had been gearing itself up to a high level of production of munitions. When your government continues to spend unprecedented sums for munitions, that money goes into the pocketbooks and the bank accounts of the people of the United States. At the same time, raw materials and many manufactured goods are necessarily taken away from civilian use. You do not have to be a professor of mathematics or economics to see that if people with plenty of cash start bidding against each other for scarce goods, the price of them necessarily goes up. First, we must, through heavier taxes, keep personal and corporate profits at a low, reasonable rate. Secondly, we must fix prices fix ceilings on prices and ceilings on rents. Third, we must stabilize wages. Fourth, we must stabilize farm prices. Fifth, we must put more billions into war bonds. Sixth, we must ration all essential commodities which are scarce. And last, we must discourage installment buying. We must encourage paying off of debts and mortgages. The blunt fact is that every single person in the United States is going to be affected by this program. Some of you will be affected more directly by one or two of these restrictive measures, but all of you will be affected indirectly by all of them. Look at it. Joe Sapp. Joe, it's all right to get the things you really need. Well, what do you mean? It's just this crazy kind of buying we've been doing. Yeah. Well, I guess you lose yourself a sale. It's been a pleasure. A pleasure not selling me anything. I'll sell it. Don't 